BC government announced a new agreement with doctors yesterday that will significantly increase their compensation. The president of Doctors BC, Dr. Ramnik Dosanjh, called the agreement a quote-unquote seismic shift and the best agreement in the country. The agreement also addresses many concerns that doctors have been voicing, including the time and the costs associated with administration and the need for primary care to be better integrated with the rest of the health system and social services. Of course, these are early days and the success of this plan in BC will be measured over years to come. But we're here today because I truly fear that Alberta doctors will look to BC as a place where the government has issued a very clear intent to build respect and to end chaos in healthcare. Well, I think uh, in terms of the overall benefits, my understanding, and I, I certainly can could be uh, corrected, but my understanding is is that it brings uh, doctors in BC their overall compensation packages ahead of Alberta's, um, and and Alberta's historically led the pack in that front, and so it it probably does mean that uh, uh, Alberta BC physicians are being paid more. Whether the actual structure of the agreement is the best structure uh, is still um, up for debate um, and that's why it's so important to be sitting and talking to uh, these frontline healthcare professionals both physicians and allied health professionals around the best way to provide a family-based primary care in our communities and who uh, does what role and what the fin best financial relationship is that would ensure that that happens so uh, I do think that that uh, where BC is going is an improvement uh, certainly in terms of the package in terms of the structure it's probably an improvement for them as well um, and it may even be an improvement on what we have in Alberta but it is is it the best overall I actually think that that we can do better but the key is that we need a government that is focused on partnering collaborating and uh, investing the resources that are necessary to make sure that Albertans get the health care that they need when they need it Here's what I would uh, advise the Premier if she were to be listening to me, and I would call on her to do. First, stop her threats to blow up the system and create more chaos. Stop it. Secondly, fund the system appropriately. Third, do whatever you can to try to fix the profoundly broken relationships with frontline healthcare providers, starting by accepting science as a critical way in which they practice medicine.